Welcome back everyone, this is SciTech with Tech Riot Gaming. Back here for episode 5 of our Icarus Survival Hard Mode playthrough. Uh, picking up where we left off at episode 4. We had just gotten to level 10. A lot of things to do today. Um, hopefully a lot more entertaining than just raising levels. Um, we are now level 10, which means we have opened up tier two in our tech tree with our crafting bench and we can get some of the gear that's going to make uh, some quality of life improvements for us at least from an exploration standpoint as well as uh you know just from a overall hunting gathering perspective as well <clears throat> just want to see what we got oh, we got a bad thunderstorm coming in so keep an eye on that we'll have to do some repairing on the shelter um but let's just spend some of these points um definitely want to get oxite Dissolver and an oxygen bladder. I want to get a rain reservoir and a water skin. I definitely want my iron tools. Let's go with an iron spear, iron knife. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna keep the wooden hammer for now. Uh, we need a smelter to smelt our ores. Got one point left. Tough call on what to spend this on. I really want this backpack extension, so I think I'm going to go here for textiles. It's going to open up some of the husbandry stuff too as well, so I'll go ahead and do that. The other thing I'm going to do is I've been kind of neglecting our talent points. <laughs> Not kind of. I have been neglecting our talent points. So I want to go ahead and just get some of these spent as well. Um, I, I, and to be honest, I'm kind of noobish when it comes to assigning these points. I just kind of do it willy-nilly based on what I feel like doing at the time I'm in here looking at stuff. So um, I definitely like slows food decay. Um, I want to get planted crops go faster. Fifteen percent growth rate at night. Less fertilizer. I don't really care about. Food buffs persist longer. Could be good. I don't really dry meat, so we're not going to go with that. Look at our combat. Let's get our damage up on our spears. Should probably be paying attention. Looks like we got a red. Right. Some of the stuff's getting damaged, but not too badly. We can probably make it till the end of the storm before we have to repair. I don't want to repair twice. So we'll go back in here and complete our talent point spend. This becomes important later once we unlock firearms because I do go right to firearms as soon as I can get them. Just make a world of difference in this map area. Attack speed. Just make sure we're not. I think we'll be okay. We'll be able to weather through this. Yep, we did just fine. All right, let's finish assigning our points here.
I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna put all three points into this in preparation for our permanent shelter. Um, the only reason is there's a lot more stone over here uh, than where we're gonna go build our permanent settlement. And uh, if I craft it up into building pieces ahead of time, that decreased 40% carry weight is gonna let me carry a lot more pieces. We'll probably have to repair twice. I just don't want to have to recraft these. I don't think I'd have to. I think we'd be fine, but... Here. Broken hammer. That's repaired. This one will be repaired. This is such a pain in the butt. I can't wait till we have stone shelters. We will try to get to level 15 as soon as possible. It's just not a very quick thing. Even in the Ring Lake area with the creatures giving as much experience as they do, it's just not very quick. But we have a lot of crafting to do, we can get some experience from that. We've got to go mine some minerals, we'll get some experience from that. Hopefully kill a couple of things as well. Some experience from that. So, I mean, we'll get there, it just won't be super quick. Got some moas outside. all paranoid about my microphone now after the last episode snafu. Alright, that looks fine, looks fine, looks fine. Repaired, 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 repaired. Repaired, door repaired. Oh, water's low, we gotta go get some water. Let's go do that real quick, since the storm is ending. Let's make sure we don't have any bad aggressive creature spawns up here. <clears throat> Gotta get that rain reservoir crafted ASAP. Uh, then I won't have to worry about water again. Check we don't have any crocs down here. Okay. Alright, let's get some food in us. Let's do our watch our XP. Like I said, I overeat because I just don't want spoiled meat in my inventory. I don't have a use for it this early in the game, so I just don't want to be carrying it around or discarding it. I'll just eat it and it'll help heal me up, give me extra health. Grab some of this plant fiber and sticks while we're here. Alright, let's head back up and do some fun stuff. Uh, we gotta craft some things. That's kind of why I'm grabbing all this stuff because I know I'm going to need it for crafting. They don't have a lot of uh, fiber and sticks right now. Used them up to craft my bone arrows. Um, do I want to take down? Yeah, let's take down these trees too while we're here. Since we do have an experience bonus of 20%. Man, I missed that trait that just auto picks up wood. So amazing. <laughs> it's 
So how's everybody doing today? Looking forward to the end of the week. Is it just buffaloes? It's been a short week. Um, I didn't go back to work until Wednesday, um, yesterday, and it's now the end of Thursday, so... Feels like it's been a long week. It's only been two days. <laughs> guess that what that's what happens when you come off of a holiday break, I guess. <clears throat> Got a bit of a leftover tree here. Okay. Make sure we don't have any crocs nearby that are gonna... Looks like a fish. We just got buffalo. Okay. Not sure how much wood we're going to need for crafting all this stuff that we want to do, but I'm going to go ahead and just get these trees out of the way. I took my time moving over to my permanent settlement location in my offline playthrough and so it's kind of funny because all of this area here and on the other side of the cliff were all just barren because I'd stripped them clean of everything. Rock, bush, tree, there wasn't a single thing left. <laughs> Boring stuff out of the way. Let's go do some fun stuff. Make sure we don't have anything coming up the beach. Okay, let's grab these last couple of things here. Grab some of the stones. I think we might need some. I do have these piles down here I can grab if we need a lot. But Oh, we got a boar. Fantastic. I do want to t try and take this boar out because I need more bacon. Oh, uh, what? Let's see if I can get this guy. A little stealth attack. I'm going to see if I can get him down into the water. Is he coming? Come on. Did he get stuck? <laughs> Did he get stuck? getting stuck. Look at that. Well, we'll cheese him if he's gonna get stuck. Of course my spear breaks. Well, cheese factor's real on that one, but that's okay. I'll take the easy kill. Again, we didn't get a lot of, um... Yeah, there's that spoiled meat. I hate that. Okay. And of course, all my stuff is breaking. Can't wait to get freaking iron. Okay, come on, stamina. I can't pick up the bones either. Uh, I think I want to drop. Let's just destroy that meat right there. We'll pick up these bones. Wow, getting late in the day already, 17.50. Well, we can craft inside without needing to worry about it. Is that just a juvenile sitting alone? That's interesting. Mama or Papa must have got killed. Maybe I did it. <laughs> I don't remember. It's been a day. Uh, let's take some of this wood, get this in here. I don't think I... Oh, yeah, I have bacon to make. Get that, get that going. Grab some O2, some oxide. All right, um, let's get a crafting bench made. Yay, crafting bench. Uh, let's get this down. All right. Um, be awesome if I could make both of these at once. Let's see, craft the. Uh, I can't. I must be missing something. Let's see what I'm missing? Uh, some leather. Okay. 
All right, let's get this down. Where did it go? <laughs> That's weird. Thought I dragged it down there. Oh, whatever. Here we go. All right. These are gonna require leather too. We need a lot of leather. I'm gonna go kill some things because I don't think we have any in our chest over here. I've got a little bit. It's not gonna be enough. Um, but it should be enough. Well, I need 30 for that. Okay, we're gonna have to go kill some things. Let's get our reservoir going. Want to get that outside, get it collecting, because the storms are so frequent, it'll fill up really, really quick for us. All right, let's go put this outside. Set this right here. Obviously, it says 0.0, .0 liters there in the upper right of the badge. That's how you tell how full uh, your reservoir is. And then you can both drink from it directly and refill your uh, water skin um, when we have one, which we don't have right now. Don't think I can make one. Oh, I can. We'll go ahead and craft a water skin. Then I eventually I need to get 120 leather so that we can get some of these oxygen bladders. Let's grab our bacon, sleep through the night. Okay, what else do we want to make? I realize we have to go do some hunting. Ah, I need more leather for a stone furnace. I want to do two stone furnaces. We basically just need a bunch of leather. I got the stone already down there. I'm gonna need some more fiber stone for the textiles bench. We can't get our iron weapons until we mine some iron. So we're gonna, I did mine some iron already when we did our cave exploration. I think it's over here, but not a lot. We only have 22. So we are gonna have to get some leather, get some iron, pick up some stone. That is a geyser on that island um, where you can get enzymes, and which are considered exotics, I guess. Um, but that is right over by the boss, the world boss, the, the den pack wolf or whatever. So we're not going over there anytime soon. Looks like we have something on the island down here, and it is a potential opportunistic kill. So I don't see any crocodiles. Let's see if I can hit this guy. A level 106 Jaguar. It'd be nice if we could harvest the algae, um, but we can't, so it's okay. All right, let's get out of the water. Okay, well, that's a little bit of the leather we needed. Well, let's get our stuff repaired. Now let's go drop off some of this stuff. Here another pig. Oh, it's a buffalo. <laughs> Thought we got lucky and got some more bacon. That was not the case. What do we have over here? Uh, looks like a Komodo. I don't have the weapons I need to take on that Komodo just yet. He also cannot be cheesed in the water. Um, he is quite lethal in the water, just like the crocodile. probably wondering why I'm leaving the fire running. I do that to make charcoal because we will need charcoal later for making 
uh, gunpowder and some other stuff, I believe. I just remember I needed a bunch of charcoal, and so I just let this burn. I constantly try to keep wood fed in it, just let it burn when I'm gone. Uh, let's put that in there. Um, let me just craft up. Not that. This axe. Craft that up. Just to get it out of my inventory. Just down here. Go ahead, more meat. Add in there. Let me drop some of this stuff off. I don't need all of this bone. I need a little bit of bone for repairs. Uh, it's not enough leather yet to make anything with, so we will just dump all that off. Sticks with us. I don't need that many sticks though, so I'll go drop these sticks off. Or I won't because the bin is full. Um, let's grab that. Put the sticks over there. kill a juvenile. I just feel bad. Plus he doesn't give us very much experience or materials so it's just kind of not worth it. I think I see something down here. Or maybe that's just the light plane tricks on me. But I saw a wolf down here but maybe I did not. All right, we'll go down the beach here and see if we can't find some... Forgot to pick up my water skin. I was looking for it for a second there. Sometimes the crocodiles will come all the way up here and bask in this grass and I don't realize they're there and then bad times ensue. <laughs> that is a moa. Okay. I heard a jaguar. Could have, oh, it's a bear. Um, this is right by that boss's den. So, but there's no crocodiles. I think I'm gonna try this. That mo is in my way. I did 145 damage to him. Head this way to be safer. Level 84, it should take two much more to kill him. There we go. He should give us a decent amount of leather though, which is good. That's why I wanted to tackle him. Take all. Wow, look at how taking the bone with the knife just like completely kills it. Alright, we have a bad flash storm coming in with lightning. It's not good. Try and get back to our shelter. Probably gonna get hit by lightning here. There are storm exposure already building. This is not good. Start running out of stamina real fast. Oh, is that a leopard? Gotta wait for my stamina to get back. Can't try taking this guy on without it. Okay. 
Dang, I forgot to repair my spear. Oh. Okay, level up. Good news. We gotta hurry up and get this skin. Come on. Don't want this storm damage getting any worse on us. Or storm exposure, rather. But we did need the leather, so I needed to take that opportunity to kill that guy. Let's get our stuff repaired real quick. Okay. I know. Stamina's an issue right now. Storm exposure. Mm, Buffalo, we're okay about that. Surprised we haven't been struck by lightning. Well, it looks like the storm is ending. I'm gonna get all the way back up here for no reason. Um, let's just see if there's any hostile creature spawns up here. None that I see. Komodo dragon. That bubble's got two juveniles. Yeah, let's stand up on a cliff in a lightning storm. That's a smart move, huh? that opportunity. Oh no. Don't say I got a broken foot. Okay, good. Where'd that? Yeah, that was a bad hit, but I just wanted to get his attention before he walked away. Oh crap, we got crocodile. Let's see if I can get this. No, I did not want to drink. Oh shit. Yeah, he saw me, but he didn't come after me. That's a very good thing. And I just cussed. I apologize. So any of those of you watching that have sensitive ears to that, I apologize. I try not to, but as I said, I'm a United States Marine, and it's second nature to swear, and sometimes <laughs> it comes out. <laughs> That, that crocodile follow me up here. Okay. Um, the arrows that I've left, 22. Can I craft any? Let's craft those. Let's eat some stuff. Make sure our food bonuses are up before we go in here. I don't have a lot of cargo room for ores, which, yeah, I should go drop this meat off and stuff before we go in there. Let's turn our torch back off. I want to make sure we have some decent capacity for going in there because I'm going to use it, use that, take that opportunity to get some experience killing worms and grab some iron ore because we're going to need some smelted up for our anvil and our iron weapons. Did I hear? I thought I heard something. Let me get some oxygen. Let's make sure our oxide's topped off. I should be using this, but I didn't have enough to get um, a bottle yet. I still don't. Jeez. Oh, uh, maybe I do if I grab this stuff. Let's put that away. Let's go here. Let's drop off this meat. Let's grab this meat. That should be enough for the ores I need to collect because I don't have good carrying weight. Let's see, can I get an oxygen? Oh, I need bones. Oh, 
craft. Okay, let's grab that. Put that there. Up here. Apologize for all this kind of back and forth. Um, yeah, okay, let's go over here. Let's grab a stack of 50 sulfur. Coming over here, putting the sulfur in, putting the oxide in, sticking the bottle in. So we're just gonna wait for this to fill here. This is gonna make our life out exploring a lot easier. A lot, a lot friendlier and a lot longer because we can stay out longer. One of these containers can do like three, four refills of your oxygen before it's empty. And you saw it didn't take much oxide or much sulfur to do that, so that is the way to go. You want to get that as soon as you can. What time is it? 11.10? Okay, we got time to do this. Double check. I could have swore I heard something. I always, if you come down this cliff face too fast, or you jump down or something, you can break a leg easy. I, I think that's buffalo that I'm hearing. Sounds like buffalo. I don't see him, but it sounds like buffalo. Yeah, that's a deer. Okay. Alright, let's go in this cave, get some ore. Wow, oh, getting some lag. What's going on? Jeez. Wow, what's going on here with this lag? Jeez. I didn't kill that guy. He missed me with his poison splatter though, which is good. Let's see if I can get my arrows back. I'm not gonna be collecting any of that worm goop. I think there's only one worm in here. I think we determined last time, correct? Uh, let's collect up. I like to collect from the back forward. Just makes it easier for me to remember, you know, where I left off gathering stuff. All right. We still have our experience bonuses, so we want to just make sure we're full bonused up before. And I do not know what's going on with this lag. Come on. Wow. I honestly don't know what's going on right now, folks. Just bear with me here a second. That was bad. I have no idea why that was lagging out like that. I have nothing running in the background. I purposely keep myself lean and mean when I'm doing recordings. As far as things running in the background, so I should not have been lagging out like that. I apologize, but we're through it. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. I don't really need copper right away. Uh, we need basically mostly iron and Unfortunately, you're just going to have to collect some with the stone axe early on and, and get some inefficiency there. Um, because I've taken out two nodes already, I don't even have a full stack. So this stone pickaxe is really inefficient. And because these nodes don't respawn, even in survival, ugh, I mean, you're just going to have to deal with it. Um, you saw how many iron ingots it took just to make the anvil, and you need just as many iron ingots to create your tools. So you, unfortunately, you just have to do it. But if you make your iron pickaxe the first iron tool you craft, it'll improve your um, efficiency significantly. Um, we have 22 back. That's going to be 34. I want to get three stacks of iron. Uh, <clears throat> that's aluminum. I'm going to go and get this iron node. We got lucky in the small cave and had quite an abundant amount of iron. 
unfortunate because there's not a lot of titanium like in my other playthrough, but I think at this point I'd rather have the iron than the titanium. Is there more of it down there? <coughs> Make sure we got it all. Okay, we can't get the aluminum. That's copper. Can't really reach that iron. I'll leave that up there for now. Um, we can get this one over here. And then I'll probably say that's good enough to get us started. Copper, iron, aluminum. Copper, copper, copper. Some more iron. Coal. <coughs> I'm gonna grab this coal. It's gonna be really heavy and not very efficient to do with the stone pickaxe. Actually, probably it's my only coal node I should have waited, but whatever. It is what it is. I already started. Because um, I use the coal in the furnace. It's more efficient than wood. We have plenty of other caves to go that we know have a lot of coal in them. That's a Komodo dragon. We're okay. You always want to just stop real briefly before just running out because you can sometimes run right into some baddies. Leave that solver for now. I'm basically going to try and minimize what ores I mine right now with the stone pickaxe until we get our iron pickaxe. Oh, I hear a jaguar. Oh, come on, you want to get up the get up the cliff, please? Apologize, folks. I'm a noob jumper, apparently. I heard a jaguar. It was relatively close. Maybe it was that deer I was hearing, but I could have swore it was a jaguar. Oh, it's a bear. Uh, we got a crocodile right there. We got a crocodile right there. I do need the leather, though. So let's see if I can't make this an opportunistic kill. If I can get him to come over this way. heard something else, which is bad news. Yep, 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 this is bad news. Die, bear. Die. Die. Oh my gosh, a level 118 bear. Oh my gosh. Okay, good. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Oof. Gotta check for crocodiles. Oh man, that was so rough. 111 uh, level Jaguar and a 118 level bear. Jeez, uh, the water cheese factor is real. Um, I want the T-bones, so let's, let's destroy those. Grab the T-bones. Um, let's drop the stone, grab the bone, and get more bone right here. 
Oh, I just dropped the stone. Dang it. Ugh. Um, can I... I gotta hurry. This is ridiculous. Freaking... Grab up this bone. Okay, now let's drop this stone. Destroy it. Grab this wood back up. Okay. Inventory management without that backpack, man. Jeez, we need that backpack. We get that textile bench built. Uh, running a little bit of a long episode today. It's at 41 minutes already. I'll uh, get up here. We'll get some stuff put away. We'll get our textile bench crafted. We'll call that an episode. Pretty good start. Got some things down. Got some harvesting and scavenging done. Uh, it's getting better. Getting better. All right. Let's see. Let's put our ore away. Okay. Dumped off our ore. Just dump this stuff off. Let's get our meat cooking. All right. Um, wooden stone. We'll do this really quick before we end the episode. Um, Another thing we need the leather for is the backpack as well. So, just need lots. Oh, that's bone spear. That's insta. Jeez. Not doing well here with the materials in the inventory. Alright, let's uh, grab a couple stacks of stone and take this up top. I think I missed a little piece when I took out our shelter. Hair is done. In case you didn't notice, um, when you do repairs, it drains your stamina quite significantly here in early game, um, to the point where you like have no stamina when you do a repair. So just keep that in mind if you're like in the middle of combat and you think you can run away far fast enough to get a repair in and then keep fighting, it's gonna drain your stamina and you will not be able to fight. Or run, for that matter, and you'll just get killed. <laughs> That's the sad truth. Let's get our spear fixed. Okay, let's repair this one, too. I right, can't repair a torch. Let's get... I need more wood. Luckily, we have some stacked right over here. You know, maybe I'll just continue this for another 15 minutes. We'll do a one-hour episode, and, and I'll only put out one episode today. Uh, it might be uh, just as good as two half-hour episodes. It'll just take me a little longer to render and publish, but uh, hopefully you guys will understand that. I've got some more meat down here I need to cook up. I'm not used to having my bottom slots just have openings. <laughs> All right, textile bench. I actually made this really early. I didn't get this till my permanent shelter last time, but I kind of learned what I want and what I don't want. Um, tech tree. I get the backpack. Um, garden plot, mortar and pestle. Better bow. I don't normally do skinning benches. I mean, I know I get more resources if I drop the animal, but you need the carry uh, weight increased really to get anything above like a wolf um, or a leopard. 
um, and you know you can't carry bears, can't carry buffalo, can't get the iguana or the komodo dragons, crocodiles. So I don't really invest in that, and maybe that's just me being bad. But uh, um, we're gonna want storage. So we'll put a point into that. Do I want to domesticate right away? You know what, I'm gonna get the mission board first. It's down here. And I can show you guys some missions in our next episode, since you might be waiting a day for that. Um, we'll give you something to look forward to. We'll do a mission. We'll construct that board. Um, let's see what we need for this. 20 leather and eight rope. Do I have the ability to make rope from... Uh, I think that's a... Or is that a tech tree thing? Is that tier one? Yeah, it's right there. No, oh, that says leather too. Five leather for a single rope. Oh, there's the fiber recipe. Uh, okay. Gonna need a lot of fiber. We'll craft this backpack next episode. What did I need for leather on that? Um, 20. Okay, we have enough for the backpack. So we'll craft up that backpack next episode. Go ahead and put stone in here. Got the wood in there. Consume that. Consume that. And consume that. Refresh our bonuses. Let's use our new oxygen tank. It's more efficient than using this thing over here. I always constantly just top this thing off, even though it doesn't really need to be. Okay, what else do we want to make? Um, I want to make this, so I need, I need 24 leather. Do I have 20? I do. That means we're going to have to go collect some more for our backpack, but that's fine. Can I make two of these? Yeah, let's craft them both. I'm not being very minimalistic, like I said I wanted to be in this particular shelter, but um, I just want to make it interesting for you guys, so we'll get into some more advanced crafting than the basic stuff we've been doing. Now, let's see, put that down there. This in here, I think I can. Come on. It's a little sticking out. Whatever. It's not perfect. It's okay. Um, let's go ahead and grab this. Let's put the stack in here. Get our stack. Get our ores smelting up here. All right. Not quite an hour. We're at 50 minutes, but I think this is a good place to call the episode. Uh, we did quite a bit today. Uh, we went out, we made our textile bench, we made our oxide dissolver, got our workbench, got some stone furnaces built, and some ores smelting. Uh, I think we did good. Um, 
we'll go ahead and call this an episode. I appreciate everyone hanging out. All of you that have been stopping by, watching the videos, leaving comments. I do appreciate it. Hope you're having a good day today. Ending if you're just starting your day. Hopefully it's a great day. If you're just finishing, hopefully it was a good one. Enjoy your gaming, everyone, and I'll talk to you again soon.